for today's project, we are going to engrave a mini charcuterie wooden board as such. So we are going to start working in our beam studio and we're gonna come right over here to where this little image um, icon is. And we are going to upload our file. So we're going to be using one of my company files. here and we just simply upload that file right in so the file size is huge and you can go right into the corner and we're going to bring this down to size or you can come right over here and you can play with the dimensions of your project so we're gonna make it about five for right now just so we can get it onto screen so this is our work plate. It is a eight by 11, eight by 12 uh, work plate. So you're gonna make sure that your project stays within here. Again, later on as we continue, you're going to put the camera mode so that you can see your actual product in there and do your cutting. So for right now, let's fix our file. So the file that I had did have a background and you can see it completely lined here. So what we're going to do is we are going to hold on to the item and we're gonna come over here to gradient and remove. So now the background for this image is off and it is just going to be the, um, the actual logo that's gonna be on there. That's about the size that I want it to be. And we are going to I just want to crop this down. We want to crop this just so that as I'm moving it, we know that that is the actual size of the, the image itself. So we're going to bring it in closer. And we're just using the dots around just to get in there tighter and apply. Okay. All right, so now our image is exactly as we need it. This is showing me that it is about 1.099 by 1.7. So I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger here. One and a half by two. So if we use our measuring tape and we have our product, we know that it will be, the height is about two. So that's perfect. The height will be about two and it will be about one and a half across. So that's perfect to be right here in the corner. So now we are going to place our project right into the machine. So we're gonna open this up. And we're gonna put the project, let's do it this way. Again, we drop this and we unscrew the beam, the laser here, so that we can make sure that we are on our project height. So this acrylic piece will just rest onto your surface board so you know where it needs to be. We will lock this and we pull this right back up and we are good to go. Now coming back onto our work screen, we are gonna go right into the camera preview so that we can see our project in real time. So the machine is aligning and we're going to press around so that we can see our wood on the plate. And if you do just a solid drag of the workspace, it will give you um, a nice cleaner look 
of your entire workspace without it being as jagged. And you can see it here. All right, so we are gonna come out of this view now. And we can see our workspace. So now I'm going to take my logo. I'm gonna turn it this way. I'm gonna keep it on the inside of my board. Let's get you guys closer to see. I'm turning it around. And we're just gonna make it a little bit smaller and we're gonna put it right just before the corner. We don't wanna have it too close to the edge or any of, of the um, ends of the board. So we're gonna just put it right there. Now, once we have that, you can see here in the corner that my layer, we are going to make sure that it is on wood engraved. The power is 25 and the speed is 5.91. And we're gonna execute it one time because it's only one project going in here. And when you are working on a project, you can look at the timer down here and this will give you an estimate of how long this project is gonna run. This is gonna take us 54 seconds, estimated. It is a small logo right on the uh, wood. And now we go ahead and we press the play or the start on the upper corner. We are good with our image placement on there. And we, this is another moment that you can put the camera on so that you can see where your project, project is going to be. And we go ahead and we press start. And it is now uploading onto our machine. We pressed start and it is going now. very light. You can see here that it's a very light engrave. So if I chose to run this again, you can come right over here and you can put retry. And it's going to run another layer over. Now that was the second go around on the board and there you have it now if you wanted to keep on going over to make this darker there's two ways that we can do this we can play with the speed and the power um, that we use on here so the power is the amount of heat or the amount that the laser is working and the speed is how fast it's going over the item. Or if you're unsure about the surface that you're using, you can do as we did. We went in with a very soft speed and power and we can just keep on retrying until we get that perfect feel that we're looking for. 
on our project. So here